Uh, next question. What was working with the Arcade Fire like? Also, do you know anything about their new album? Uh, working with uh, Wynn and Regine and Owen Pallet uh, from the band Arcade Fire was like one of the best um, experiences of my entire career. It was kind of a dream come true to get them to commit to doing the score. Um, I didn't expect them to agree to say yes because they've I know they've been approached by a lot of people to do music for movies. But I kind of went to them at, you know, after a concert at the Hollywood Bowl with a script and with a, a CD of uh, Bernard Herrmann's Vertigo. And I'm like, would you guys be interested in doing a, a kind of a nostalgic score in the style of, of Bernard Herrmann? And it, it something about it clicked for them, and there was a, a window in their schedule, and it all just kind of it was a long courtship and a long kind of process to get them to, to really commit to doing it. But it was something that they really, uh, I felt wanted to do. It was an opportunity to create that kind of music that, you know, unless it's for a movie, you know, what, when else are you going to get the chance to create 80 minutes of, you know, lush orchestration and horns and kind of, uh, antiquated, uh, interesting, uh, film score like that so it was amazing it was absolutely like one of those once in a you know lifetime experiences and um as for their new album i don't know anything about it other than they're in the middle of recording it right now and i i'm sure it will be amazing and they kind of go off into recording land you know and so they're very much in the thick of it right now i don't know if they're finished yet but I know they've been working with Marcus Drobs, who engineered our score and did their last two albums, and he did Coldplay's last album. So he's he's a, a, a brilliant guy as well. So, what, For you, working with them, was it a little different where you felt a little more intimidated about giving them notes, or were they was it a very collaborative process like your previous films? It was very collaborative because I gave them the script before we even started shooting. So they, they had plenty of time for it to marinate in their mind. And then they did about 12 demo tracks, which are kind of like rough almost like the, the equivalent of like a charcoal sketch for an artist, you know, where they laid down the themes, about 12 of them, and they sent them to me. And that was sort of the, their way of saying, hey, here's what we're thinking. It's only 12 of ultimately what ended up being about 30 to 40 themes that they did. But that was like a way to kind of for them to reach back to me and say, you know, the contract isn't signed yet. We did these 12. What do you think? Are we in the ballpark? And it was just like, are you kidding? This is amazing. You've nailed it. Like, I'm so happy. I have two notes that are negligible. And can we please keep moving forward? You know, that was it was that kind of process. So they're very um, uh, idealistic artists in the wonderful Canadian sense, you know, where they really are all just about the art. And they don't ever work on a schedule. They, they're not used to having kind of um, anyone give them notes. So it, if anything, my notes were just so minuscule because like they really understood the material like they behaved like film composers that had been doing this for 20 years they really did and they're that adaptive and they're that intuitive so it was never a question of like oh these are you know rock stars who don't understand the film scoring process if anything they understood it so well they were just really cautious about going too far and giving up giving too much music until they knew you know that like the cut was was locked or that you know everything was cool with the studio and all that kind of stuff so they were like really, really smart and really cautious and really thoughtful and at the end of the day it was like the easiest collaboration i've ever had probably you know and i've had you know like very easy collaborations with the composers of all the movies so it's it's always a, a, bit, a real pleasure for me to work with composers as long as they know the movie and they understand the movie. So, when will the score be released? The score uh, will be released when the band decides that they they want to release it. We we were able to put a lot of stuff out on the official website as a way to like um, at uh, www.theboxmovie.com or youaretheexperiment.com. You can hear um, a good chunk of the score there. Um, I think it's just a, a question of when their their record label. You know, they have an album coming out imminently and I think it's just a question of um, when you're a record label you don't necessarily want to have a competing or a preemptive um, uh, album that put into the marketplace uh, prior to you know in the in the 
months prior to when their big album is coming out. So I think it's kind of just an issue of that where they're just sort of holding back and they kind of want people to go to the theater and experience it in the in the cinema. And then hopefully it, at some point it'll absolutely be, re be released. I think it's all about their record label and when they're kind of feeling like they've got their album positioned and everything. I think that's just their main priority. I think this was a, a project they did, you know, as sort of a labor of love and it's it's not necessarily about um trying to conflict with what with their most important job which is being rock stars and and working on their rock album so at some point I, it's definitely going to come out i just can't give an exact date uh as of now but in the meantime it's you know we definitely encourage people to come see it on the big screen and then to actually visit the website if you want a, a sample of it